2019 battling an autoimmune disease is facing a different reality during the COVID-19 pandemic, trying to figure out how to remain healthy as the virus spreads. Fox 55's Mallory Beard joins us live in the studio to tell us more about the young woman's experience after having to get infusions every four weeks just to maintain her health. Mallory. Thank you, Brianna. Now, I met with Catherine Alger for several months ago when she was facing a shortage of hydroxychloroquine, just one medicine she needs to survive. Now, her mother tells me she faces a shortage of another medicine come next year. And she said, I'm sorry to tell you, but there's a major shortage of this, and we don't know that your daughter will get her life-saving medication. Christine Alderfer was told these words two years ago by her daughter's doctor. Oh, so I was diagnosed when I was four years old, mm -hmm. and um, it was kind of scary at first. I mean, I don't totally remember all of it. Catherine has juvenile dermatomyositis, an autoimmune inflammatory disease of muscle, skin, and blood vessels, making it difficult for Catherine to be in the sun. Well, of course, all my friends are there, so it's just so much more exciting and fun. And so I feel like you're not quite as motivated when you're, um, like, at home. Catherine and her twin sister started at-home learning right after Halloween. It was only supposed to be for two weeks until their father contracted COVID-19. And we didn't, like, see anybody or talk to anybody. And um, we definitely, like, kept texting him and calling him and really talking to him. Um like socially distancing, of course. Alderfer says they had to stay apart over the holidays because of her autoimmune disease, but they used FaceTime and delivered meals to keep their family together. A message she has for those experiencing rough times during the pandemic as well. And always make sure that you are showing younger people like how to be kind and how to live with it so that they can also show other people and just that you can overall have a better life and also Always listen to your parents, because usually they're right. Now, Catherine's mother says she and other autoimmune patients will experience a shortage of the immunoglobulin treatment, IVIG. And she encourages plasma donors to donate to nearby locations as soon as possible. Reporting in the studio, I'm Mallory Beard, Fox 55 News.